Hey guys, recently I found a JavaScript library. The library named is Lodash, which is very popular utility library. This library existed for a long time, but I did not know about this library before. As I am currently working in uh, React based front end web application development, and even in our existing web application, I found that this library is used in several places. Since then, I am also using this library when I need some utility functions. If you already know about this library, then you can skip this video. But if you never use this library before, then keep watching. This is a modular library, and uh, in this home page, you will see that. Uh, the how to install this library in your system in node environment or in your web page and there is a documentation if you click this documentation you will see this page and there are all the essential methods are uh, described in here so you can just use those methods let's see a demo i'm going to install this library so currently i am in my uh, desktop demo javascript uh, directory and here i want to install a yarn project so i have to type yarn in it you, you can also use uh, npm if you like to so i give name of this project is demo and description entry point is demo.js okay so now i will type code dot it will open my visual studio code editor so here you will see that there is a demo.js file already i created and there is the package json let's install this lodash library so i will type yarn lodash yarn add lodash it is installed you see now in the dependencies there is a lodash now we can write some code in the demo if you are using react you can use import function to import this library but as i am uh, showing this demo in node environment so i will use uh, require methods i will type const and then i will put an underscore it is a common convention to use underscore when you are going to use lodash library and here i will type require and then lodash you can also see the documentation in here like here you see that how to uh, import it in your uh, node environment now type some code suppose you want to check that whether a string is a string or not you can do that using this lotus library for example i suppose i define a variable const name mahamud and then i want to check that if this name variable contains a string or not then i can easily do that by typing if then underscore underscore means this underscore and then i will type is a string and here i will pass this name uh, parameter and here i have to use the bracket as well so if a uh, name is a string then print console.log name otherwise uh, print console.log not a string now i want to run this it in here so i will type node and the name is demo.js you see it is showing mahmoud that means it is a string if i suppose change the value of this suppose it's an array empty array and if i run this program again you see it is showing not a string this kind of utility methods is defined in this lodas uh, library you can also see in the documentation there are uh, some other useful methods you can see that array this array section has many useful methods then you can see also some in the collection just uh, if you never use this library just uh, keep your eye open and check out the method name so that in case you need some of the function you can just use uh, import this library and can use this there are some other method like uh, if you use uppercase you see here you have to just put uppercase and when you uh, pass uh, some string in the uppercase you will see it will remove this kind of dash thing and put uh, make this thing in uh, capital letter also it automatically remove underscore so sometimes when we create website we need this kind of function you can just import loaders and use the function then there is also a random method for example if i want to generate random number then how can i do that using loader so let's see so i will type console.log and i will use the loaders function random and here i will suppose want to print 0 to 5 so uh, i want to 
uh, print a random number from 0 to 5 if I type this again you see it is showing 3 if I type this again it is showing 3 again and now it is showing 5 so this is the random number I hope if you did not know about this library before you can use this library from now on to solve your problems thanks for watching